Today, we are pitting Hubitat Elevation, Homey Pro, and Home Assistant against each other in a battle to the death, in a staring contest, in a dance off, in a Royal Rumble, in a tickle fight, in a cage match, in a menage a trois, in an automation challenge to automate my exterior lights to turn on with fancy colors for each holiday. Hubitat, Homey Pro, and Home Assistant each take a vastly different approach to solving this problem. So let's see who does it best. For this challenge, we're going to attempt to build the same exact automation in each hub. The automation will be triggered to turn on the exterior lights at sunset every single night. On a normal night, they're going to turn on at 100% dim level at a bright white. But on holidays, I want the lights to turn on at 100% dim level at the fun holiday colors you can see in this chart right here based on what holiday it is. And finally, we want the lights to turn off every night at 12.22 a.m. The bulbs we're using for this automation are three Philips Hue bulbs in front of my garage and a Hue downlight over the front step. And if you want to see how I installed that Hue downlight, check out the video in the link below. Now this automation will work with any brand of color bulb you have connected to your system. But one nice thing about Hue bulbs, if you connect them via the Hue bridge, is that you can connect them to multiple different hubs at the same time. And that's why we're able to do this little experiment here today. So this is how the automation is going to look in each hub's UI when we're finished. But it's how we get here that really matters. You know, what's the learning curve? How much effort does it take? Does the process make me want to punt the hub to the moon? So let's start by tackling this with the Habitat Elevation Hub. Now this automation is not super complex, but it does require conditional rules. So we'll have to do this in rule machine instead of basic rules. If you dig algebra and have always thought, man, I wish I could do math, but with words, rule machine is going to be your thing. So to set this up, we're going to create a trigger at sunset. Then for our actions, we need to use what they call conditional actions, which are essentially a series of if then statements. So we select the if first, which is if it is February 14th. The then portion is actually another action. So we'll create another action and that action is to set the garage bulbs to pink. We also want a couple of the bulbs to turn red. So we'll follow that same process to create another action for the red bulbs and we get this. So right now it says if it is February 14th, it will turn the lights pink and red. Now for our other holidays, we need to add them as an else if conditional action like this for March 17th. So as it goes down the line here, if it is February 14th, do this else if it is March 17th. Now we need an action to turn the lights green. Now, fortunately, we can just copy these actions here, paste them down here, then edit them to make the bulbs green. Now it is just a matter of repeating this procedure for all of the holidays in our list until we get a rule that looks like this. You can see how once all of the else if conditions and actions are created, the hub will just go down that list to figure out what to do. And if none of those dates are true, that's why we're adding an else at the end. And then we add an action to turn on the outside lights to a white color. And that's the default if it is not a holiday. And syntax matters here. So if you start an if statement, you need to end the if statement with an end if. And finally, we'll add a wait action to wait until 1222 AM when it will turn off the exterior lights. So there you have it, our exterior holiday light automation in Hubitat Elevation. It's not pretty. There is a bit of a learning curve with the if then conditional actions, but it does all kind of make sense once you figure it out and it doesn't take that long. Now let's compare this to automating lights with the Homey Pro. With the Homey Pro, you don't need to worry about syntax or ifs or thens or else's. You're just playing connect the dots. So we're going to open up an advanced flow here and start with the same trigger of sunset or as Homey calls it a win card. And instead of conditional if then statements, Homey Pro uses and cards. So we'll add this date and month card and set it for February 14th. And for actions, Homey uses then cards. So we'll then say, turn on the exterior lights and we connect those with lines. So you can see why it's called a flow. To get our colors for Valentine's Day, we'll add more and cards for the garage lights. Each bulb has its own card. So we'll do some copying and some pasting, replace it with the bulb we want. And the same thing for the dim level. When we set the levels and the colors and connect them all with lines, you can see when it is sunset and it's February 14th, it's going to turn our lights red and pink. Now we can just copy and paste this card here and change the dates to set up our other holidays. And the way these cards work is if this statement is true, it follows the top line. And if it's not true, it follows the bottom line. So we can copy and paste our action cards and just change the colors to match the holidays. We'll connect all of our lines here and it's pretty easy to see how this all flows together. Now it's just a matter of repeating that process of duplicating the action cards, changing the colors, 
and connecting the lines and you'll get a flow like this. You'll see that if the flow gets through all of the date cards without triggering anything else, we've set the lights to turn on white as a default with these cards here. Oh, and to turn the lights off, we'll just add a new when card for 12.22 a.m. and then a card to turn off the lights. So as you can see, very different approaches between the Homey Pro and Hubitat Elevation, but they do arrive at the same goal. Now, I happen to really like the visual approach and ability to move things around in the Homey, but it might drive some of you left brain folks kind of bonkers. You might like the more linear Hubitat approach. Time-wise, they both clocked in at about the same amount of time to build, just under 15 minutes. So it's kind of a push there. A comparison I like to use is that if automating your home was like ordering food at a restaurant, Hubitat presents you with a very dense text-only menu and some of the words you're not going to understand, but it does do the job. Homey Pro also gives you a dense menu, but it has pictures of all the food. So even a dummy can just point at what they want to eat and they'll probably get something that they want. And then there's Home Assistant. Instead of a menu, Home Assistant just hands you a butcher knife and a live chicken and says, good luck. Now I'm trying to give Home Assistant a chance. I really, really am. But as a non-developer, it just feels like they're going out of their way to make even the simplest things as complicated as possible. I tried to figure out how to build this automation using their new and improved automation UI, but it just can't be done. Dates cannot be set as a condition, which seems like a pretty easy problem to solve, but nobody solved it yet. So I went to Google and the Home Assistant forums, and to no surprise, a lot of other people have the same questions I do. Now the solution, it turns out, is YAML. I know a lot of you are looking at me and saying, what's the big deal? Just learn YAML. It's really easy. Well, that may be true if you're a developer. But when I see code, my brain just gives me the middle finger and flies to Tahiti. The whole point of home automation is to make my life easier and learning code does not make my life easier. So I asked a new friend if they could write some YAML script for me. I also asked that friend if they could create a picture of a narwhal playing chess with Abe Lincoln in a laundromat. Well, mission accomplished on both fronts. The YAML code that ChatGPT created actually worked. In Home Assistant, you have to select Edit in YAML, then paste the script from ChatGPT. Now, it wasn't totally complete for all the holidays, but I was able to use the last few brain cells that hadn't abandoned me to copy and paste that code. I figured out how to change the dates and the colors in that YAML code, and that was pretty much that. So there is your Home Assistant exterior light automation. And all it took was writing some code and several hours to figure out. Welcome to Home Assistant. So when I got to work making this video, I knew that someone in the comments was gonna find a way to automate this in Home Assistant without using YAML and make me look like an idiot. So I had to try again. And after several more dead ends and more time than I care to admit, I found a way to do it. It's extremely convoluted. It takes twice as long as doing it in Hubitat or Homey Pro, but it can be done. Here's how. First, you need to go to devices and services and add the local calendar integration. Then you go into the calendar and create events for all of the dates that you want to have colored lights with. Now be sure to add the holiday name in the description because that's where we're gonna need it in the automation. When you get the event set, go to settings and start a new automation. Set sunset as a trigger. Then we'll add a building block of choose. And this is where we're gonna put all of the holiday color options. So open this, we'll add a condition and choose entity and state. And the entity is the holiday exterior lights calendar we made. The attribute is description. And in the state field, write the name of the holiday we're doing the lighting for. Does any of that make sense? Not really but this is your life now when you get in bed with Home Assistant. Then for the action, select light and turn on. Then select the bulbs, color, and brightness. And that is how you set option number one. Now do that eight more times. You can duplicate and replace things, which does make things quicker, but you're still gonna be here a while. And finally, when you get all of your options set, you can set the default action to turn the lights white when it is not a special holiday. And that, my friends, is how easy it is to create an automation in Home Assistant without using YAML. And now that I've done it, I mean, what was I even complaining about in the first place? Isn't home automation fun? I don't, I don't know why everybody doesn't do this in their spare time. So what do you folks think? Let me know in the comments which hub you think does the best with their automations. And give it a like if you want to see more hub to hub comparisons like this. In fact, if you do, I think you'll like this video right here. Thanks for watching.